Hello, Gribos, and welcome back to Downloadable Content. In today's video, we're gonna focus on the many reasons why you are unsuccessful when installing mods for Blade and Sorcery. Lately, I've been seeing a ton of comments popping up that saying mods aren't working, and let's get right to it. Currently, Blade and Sorcery just released beta 8.48 as the newest beta mod. Therefore, all other mods are not going to work. You have to be very specific with the mods that you want to work for Blade and Sorcery. So let's take a look at an example. So you want to install a mod for Blade and Sorcery. So right here, I've look, I'm looking at the Damascus Steel Claymore by Beast217. When I go down to files, this is the most important part. It lets you know right here, this is for U8.4 beta 8. That lets you know it's up to date with the most current version. But before we move any further, let's focus on the what version are we on? So if I have the game downloaded on Steam, I'll see right here, Blade and Sorcery 8.4 beta. And I got there by going into the game's properties and clicking on betas and I opted into the beta. And if I had the game on Oculus, I would go to the Oculus store, find Blade and Sorcery, scroll all the way down and see the versions and click the little drop down arrow to know that I'm on the latest beta and not 8.3. I wanna make sure I'm on my beta. And that being said, mods from previous versions like a mod from U7, a mod from 8.3 will not work with 8.4 and 8.4 beta U8. If you install those mods, not only will they not show up, but they could actually show up in game as a question mark, meaning the game is registering that it can see a mod, but the mod is not compatible with this version. Furthermore, once you know you're on the correct version, you're gonna go into your Blade and Sorcery data folder, go into streaming assets and you will see all these new folders. You will literally see a mod folder that's been created for you. Do not create any other folders. So I double click in here and I can drag and drop every single mod directly in here and make sure you unzip these mods before you put that in there. And what does that mean? Well, it means that when I go to manually download a mod and brings me to the download page, I'll just click on slow download and I have WinRAR installed. It's very simple, but it'll let me know that this is a zip file. I'll click on open file and this is the actual mod itself. Not that, do not put that in the mod folder. You put this in the mod folder. You literally just bring open the mod section the mods you want, click and drag, and that's how you're gonna install mods. And that will make sure that your mods are up to date and working in the game. And last but not least, if you actually haven't purchased a game, meaning you went to the Oculus Store or went to Steam and paid money to download this or was gifted from a giveaway, your mods will stand a high chance of not working. So if you decided to be, you know, a pirate and install an unofficial version, not only is that not cool, but also your mods are probably not gonna work. And also don't join the Discord saying that you got the game for free and you're looking for help because that's not cool either, it's a waste of time. Well, that was a lot to pack into this video. I hope I made it clear and concise for the reasons why your mods aren't working. And to sum it all up, there's a new update that broke all other mods. All other mods from previous versions are not compatible and you also are not unzipping your mod properly. And last but not least, you could be a pirate that stole the game. Other than that, if you guys are still having trouble installing mods, the Discord is always available. The link is in the description. Thank you for spending the time and watching this video. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.